Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to enable disk write protection in Windows. So while we are on a Windows 10 computer, this will apply for earlier versions of Windows as well. So while a disk write protection drive will typically prevent the contents of the disk from being changed or modified, that is where the name disk write protection comes from. So there are different ways to do this but all of them require that you have an administrative account in order to proceed. So by default, most drives are not going to have disk writing enabled. So that's why I'm going to start with this tutorial by going over how to enable disk write protection. So we're going to start by opening up an elevated command prompt. So I'm going to right click on the start button and then left click on command prompt admin. Receive a user account control pop up, select yes. Now you want to type in disk part, D I S K P A R T, then hit enter on your keyboard. So now we've entered the disk part utility, and we want to type in list space disk, so list disk, and then hit enter on your keyboard. So we can see a list of all of our disks on our computer pretty much. And if you read the command that we just ran, that makes a lot of sense. So if you want to enable write protection for this disk, so I'm going to select the only disk that we have on this computer, which is disk zero. So I'm going to type in select disk zero, all spaced out, not one word. So select disk zero, all separate words then hit enter on your keyboard. So now we can see that we've selected the disk that we want to enable this protection for. Now we want to do is type in attributes. Please keep in mind spelling is very important with this. And then you want to do a space after you type attributes. And now you want to type in disk, one word, and then set. And then you want to type in read only. Please keep in mind that there are spaces in between each of these words except for read only. This is one word and it's all lowercase. Please keep that in mind. And then hit enter on your keyboard again. So we can see this part failed to set the disk attributes. Please keep in mind that it happens in my case because I do not have multiple drives on this computer. And if I only have one main hard drive partition, obviously they cannot protect my only hard drive where it reads and writes everything. But if you have multiple secondary drives like USB flash drives or DVD players or, or DVDs or something like that, then just select that drive. It's something that's very nice to keep in mind when determining what drive is the correct drive or right disk, it'll say size. So just keep in mind whatever the largest one is is probably your computer's hard drive and it will not let you do that to your primary hard drive. I mean, it makes sense if you think about it, so just keep that in mind. And I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.